job here to do a vinyl update. Um, the other day, um, oh, sorry, long day. It's really hot today and it's been a long, crappy day. So, maybe we do this. What's up, everybody? Rob here to do a vinyl update. Um, I got a couple, quite a few, oh, not quite a few, but plenty to do an update. Um, been a hot ass day today. I know you guys, pretty much everybody's hitting the hundreds and been really, really, really hot. And I don't like to eat. But uh, the other day I stopped at my friend's work. Uh, as some of you watched my past uh, videos, you know I have a friend that works for uh, Half Price Books. So I get really good deals and sometimes I get inside information about what's coming in. Or what they got and crap like that so the other day I just randomly uh, stopped by because I was I was near there doing a job so I stopped by and you know bullshitted with her and I figured I'd run through the vinyl found a couple of really good things um, nothing to blow you away with but anyway first one is I always say this guy's name wrong is Jean 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 uh, Belleville, I don't know how to say it. I should know how to say it. I know French. But, um, uh, if you know the band Crown of Thorns, um, the Voodoo X was it? Or? Crown of Thorns is the big band he came from. Um, this is a solo album. It's called Drums of, Drums of the, Drums Along the Mohawk. Wait, let me make sure I got that right, because it always sounds stupid. Yeah, Drums Along the Mohawk. I don't really... I think the title is very good, but uh, it's a good solo album. I mean, it's there's their lyrics. It's a little more on the uh, AOR side of Crown of Thorns, but I like his voice. He's got a very unique voice. This is on Columbia. I think this is actually Canadian press. If I remember right? Oh, whatever. But great shape. The vinyl is you know dusty and dirty. I haven't cleaned any of it yet. I usually don't clean it until after I show. Um, but there you go, that's the vinyl. So, good cheap album. It's worth buying if you can pick it up. Um, why can't I say his name right now? Um, and Crown of Swords is a good band too. So, check that out if you come across it, or go check it out on YouTube. You can find anything on YouTube. Or I'll try to leave a link. I try to remember to add stuff in my links now with lesser known bands, but I always forget sometimes. Alright. This here for now. Next is one I was really surprised to see there. It, it's got a cut out, but I don't care about that. I've been really wanting this album, and every time I see it, it turns up as they want way too much money for it. Like my phone would have fallen. It's kind of day. Anyway, um, this is their third album and the first with a different singer. And that's the band called Icon. And the album's called Right Between the Eyes. Um, they actually had a pretty, a couple big songs on this one, right? Taking My Breath Away. And I can't remember the other one. Although my one of my favorite songs here is the title track right between the eyes. Um, what's the other one? Holy Man's War is a great song. I'm pretty sure they had a second single, Forever Young, maybe? I don't remember. They had two singles on Headbangers Hang 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 Ball Day. They had two you know, bigger songs. I don't know why this band, even with the original singer, didn't get bigger. Because they're a really, really good band. Alright, what's this 89? Right, one fucking eye. I don't know what year it is. There's a bag, but no, it's also a gold stamp promo. Um, pennies, I paid for that. Oh. Uh, intact lyric sheet. I mean, it looks like it's never, it doesn't even have an imprint of the vinyl, so it must have been sitting outside of it. And the vinyl is pretty clean for not being clean. I don't know if the press is on this, but 
I didn't look it up. I just seen it and grabbed it because pretty much I get half price at half price books. My friend gets her discount. I saved a lot of money on these. Next is the one I haven't been able to find as well. And it's kind of all over the place, but it's, it's usually super expensive for what it is. I was actually looking to buy the reissue. That's what I was, one of my next purchases was gonna be the reissue of this album. So this is really great that I found this in its original press. And it's uh, Fifth Angel's second album, Time Will Tell. I can't believe I've seen this there too. Really shocked. And uh, nothing special about the interior. It's on Epic. Vinyl super clean. Just needs to be, you know, dust cleaned off. So that was an epic find because I was just about to buy the uh, reissue because I couldn't find a decent priced copy of this. I got a little tiny bit of ring wear, as you can see, but that's the white. I mean, white covers always take the biggest beating. But it's not bad at all. In excellent shape, I mean, if it wasn't for the couple of dirt marks, I'd probably say it's near mint. There's my third album I found. And then these two puppies coming up. Now they're not particularly super expensive, they're just really hard to find now. And when they are, when you do find them, they're usually well overpriced. These were overpriced, but with my discount discount, I got them for a price I was more than willing to pay. I mean, I really got a good deal. <laughs> so, the first one is Steve Ray Vaughan in Double Trouble and a Soul to Soul. This is a Canadian press, I think this one is, if I remember correctly. But, shitty sleeve. And also on Epic, and this, this, one, this one is a Canadian press. Again, just dirty, this needs to be clean, not a scuff. A scratch, nothing on it. Perfect condition. So that's one. And y'all know that dig and try to find uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, how tough his original press, original press by the way, original presses are hard, are hard to come by, you know? And like I said, when you do find them, it's, it's uh, overpriced. Well, not only did I find one, I found two. I found Stevie Ray Vaughan's In Step. This is the one with his big song, Crossfire, right? Yeah, Crossfire's on here. I love Stevie Ray Vaughan in Double Trouble. It's a, it's a punch out, but I don't give a shit. I mean, this is a US press, original press. It's got a little bit of edge. You know, you can tell it's been pulled out a lot. It wasn't protected properly. But other than that, it's in excellent shape in the punch. A little bit of corner rounding. But again, shitty old paper. Uh, on Epic, and this is a US press one. Again, in fantastic condition. Uh, there's a fingerprint on it, but other than that, there's no scratches, no scuffs, um, and it's just a little bit dirty, dusty, so I need to clean that. But great two finds on those alone. So four out of five of these were really excellent finds, in my opinion. Um, it's just stuff I cannot find around here. Hell, some of that you can't even find, you know, like the Icon and the uh, um, Fifth Angel. Most of it's European. It's where it is now. And by the time you pay for shipping, you're paying sometimes more for the damn album. Anyway, I also got two packages today that I pre-opened because they were tore up. Um, this is the one package I got today. This is pretty much how it came. Not only that, it was stamped, or stamped, stamped medium mail subject to inspection. So I'm assuming they popped it open to make sure it was media. There was that one. 
And then this one, as you can see, was like that. Luckily, it had a cardboard filler, a kind of a cardboard filler. It had this inside of it, which is pretty, it's kind of not really sturdy. It's not super thick, but as you can see, it, it's got a bend to it. This had a bend to it. But two of those packages were just completely, I didn't think either one was going to survive um, this. I'm not even sure this one is yet. i got to play it. And we'll go with this one first, since it's kind of people know. First one is, uh, if you guys know Amanda Somerville, um, she, does, she does a lot of backing vocals for a lot of bands. She's really heavily into the German power metal doing the backing vocals. She has an all-female, like, acapella style metal backing group called Exit Eden. She has solo albums. This is her second album as a metal band. Um, the, um, can't think of the guy she does a lot of work for. Oh my god. Big German power metal symphonic. I can't think of it. But anyway, she does a lot of backing vocals for a lot of German bands. A lot of European bands. She's always on tour over there. But during her off time, she actually had a band. First album was really good. You can only get it on CD though. Second album just came out and the vinyl was just released and I just got that uh, yesterday. Today, I'm sorry, today. And that's uh, Amanda Somerville's Trillium. Although they didn't call it Amanda Somerville's Trillium, the first one they just called them Trillium. Which I prefer when they do that, not the whole band. Around this, on, the, on, the, on the binder they says. And the album's called Tectonic. Brand new album. Um, good metal backing. Uh, very, very beautiful voice. I mean, as you can see, you see the bend in that, right? I took photos of it when I laid out on the table and stuff in case it doesn't play properly. I, uh, I'm sorry. I'm so caught up in. My brain is not with me today again. Uh, anyway, there's the gatefold. And it's on Frontiers Records. Uh, although this actually says. I'm not sure who pressed this. Usually it's like ick or, or something, some weird. There's the gatefold and shit. And then the vinyl is just black vinyl. I think it's the only thing it came out in. Um, I mean, when I lay it flat, you can't tell. It's 180 gram vinyl, so that probably helped a lot. But I won't know until I get it on the turntable. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I don't know how there isn't the way it's bent. But really good hard rock metal influence. Got some grinding, you know, good heavy guitars in there. Um, I don't know how else to put it. Think uh, you guys know Pamela Moore solo stuff. It's I don't know how to explain it, guys, but. It's good shit. That's all I got. That's all I know. The band's called Trillium. Not Trivium, Trillium. And I'm really happy to get that. And I actually found that for a really nice price. Because even on Amazon, that was like $40. I got it for... I pre-ordered it like months ago. Two months ago, I think it was. But I got it for like 28 Shit. Alright. Now next... It's a very small band that I'd be surprised if anybody knows. Um, I ordered this a month and a half ago and I had to actually email them and say, hey, where's my album at? And they said, well, we forgot. We didn't see it. We forgot. Um, anyway, it, it's, a, it's a new band. They're actually in the, record, in, the, in the studio right now recording a new album, like a, you know, their debut studio album and uh, but I found out they had this and of course you, know, you tell me you got vinyl and, and I like the band it's very much that pompous uh, heavy glam this is what I say glam heavy glam hair metal um, where it's just makeup out and over the top kind of like a kiss meets poison kind of deal and I'll show you in a minute what I mean I'm taking the uh, plastic off of it. Um, it's, it's over the top. 
but it's pretty good stuff. You know, it's that good 80s uh, arena sound music. Um, I can't compare them enough, but I'll try to leave a video and the band's link in my signature and my, god darn it, my description below. And the band is called Wicked, Wicked, and the album is Life Alive. This is an independent release, obviously. Um, it's a live album, basically. It's got 10 songs, 10 songs or 11? 10 songs on it. But as you can see, that's pure hair. And this is from when? This is from 2015 or 14. This is an order. Yeah, 2014. But they're actually in the studio right now recording a new album. There you go, there's the inner. Uh, I don't pull the vinyl out yet, but they actually sent me a promo promo uh, photo since they screwed up my order. It would have been nice if they signed it. But... It actually isn't the band's fault. The band has somebody handling it. It's actually a, like a record store where they live, I'm assuming, and he's the one that forgot it, so can't blame the band on that one. And I figured maybe they were in the studio, they forgot, that's why I emailed. <laughs> uh, and as you can see, <laughs> completely hair metal. I mean, their names are Danny Dahl, Scotty V, JP Clubs, and Chad Michael. But, I mean, come on. Good to see this kind of stuff coming back, you know? Oh, I didn't you know. It's on Ra Ra Records and it's on white vinyl, which I didn't think I realized that or not. And I can't even tell it's dirty, it's got dust on it. Like, I don't understand if a new vinyl has it. But it's on a custom, you know, custom late. Well, I guess it's custom because it's independent, but really cool band. Um, I'll probably play this tonight one. I'm thinking I'm going to do a live feed tonight. Had nothing to do, so I figured I'd talk to you guys if anybody's around. Usually you guys come on later, and that's why I spend four hours on there. But anyway, guys, there is my recent update. I don't think I... I do have, I do have like, two uh, vinyl coming in, but that's about it. Uh, I don't think I have anything else right now. Haven't been buying. Um, just sent out like a bunch of uh, a bunch more VCLT. Sent a couple out le uh, last week, and I got some more coming out. So you guys that I've talked to about it, you guys should have that stuff soon. That's medium mail. I think all of them are medium mail, so it'll be a load probably next week. Um, other than that, that's it for now. I need to do a quick video for Tim Line. If you guys don't know Tim Line. Check out his channel and get a last minute contest entry in if you can. Um, Tim Line, T-I-M-L-I-N-E. Um, Love Scorpions and, and Def Leppard and, and stuff like that. Uh, Striper. Anyway, I'm talking about that because I'm going to do the video. Anyway, you guys have a good day and we'll catch up real, real soon. Hopefully tonight maybe when I'm online.